Derive the shortcut, we say integrate cos raised to the power of n x dx. Where n means this power you are seeing. This is the same thing as integrate cos n minus 1 x then cos x dx. This is from the principle of this is from the principle of indices. That is, they have same base cos x cos x. N minus one minus n minus one plus spiritual one in this cos that will be giving you n. So cos raised power n x is something as cos n minus one cos x in mathematics from the principle of indices. Then we'll call this i in this video. Then you say that this is your u and this is your dv. Remember that in product rule of uh, integration, we have that integration u dv is equal to u v minus integration v du. Okay, so what we now do is we now say what is the value of u? U is cos raised power minus 1x. U equals to cos raised power of n minus 1x. Then dv equals to cos x. Then when you, this is differentiation v equal to this. Opposite of Differentiation is integration. So when you integrate the v, you have v equals so. So if I integrate cos x, I'll be having v. So if I integrate this, it will be giving me sin x. Okay? Then, when I say, what of the u? What is this? This means cos x raised power of n minus 1. So, so, how do we differentiate it? Differentiate cos x. That is minus sin x. Then, carry n minus 1, multiply spiritual 1 here. You have n minus 1. Then, bracket cos x. n minus 1 minus 1. n minus 2. This will be giving me L minus 1. This will be giving me minus L minus 1 sin x cos L minus 2 x. Okay, we now plug it in the formula we have, which is this. We now say integration integration this is equal to this cos raised power n s the x is equal to then what is your u your u is cos n minus 1 x what is your v your v is sin x then you say minus integration what is your v you write again sin x. What is your du? The u is minus m minus 1 sin x cos m minus 2x. So, so we now say this minus coming out to turn here to be plus equals to. Cos n minus 1 cos cos n minus 1 x sin x minus times minus plus integration. Bring out n minus 1 then bracket sin x times sin x sin squared x then cos m minus 2 x okay so 
We said from here, remember that sine squared x is equal to 1 minus cos squared x. So, when I say that means integration cos x power nx, the x equals to, this is cos n minus 1 x sine x plus Bring out m minus 1 integration. What is sine square s? 1 minus cos squared x. Then cos squared cos m minus 2 x. Okay? Now this times this will be giving me m minus 1. This times is cos m minus 2x, then minus m minus 1, you write it again. This times is, now m minus 2 minus, m minus 2 plus 2 will give you n. So this times is will give you n x. So you put your integration symbols. Okay? Then equals to cos m minus 1 x sine x. Okay? So that is for this. You now say, remember that we said let cos x by n s be i. That means that this is equal to cos m minus 1 x sine x plus m minus 1 integration cos m minus 2 x minus m minus 1 i. So everything here is our i. So we say i because say let like this be i, i equals to this. Then we have it finally that i minus, when this go to the other side, it will be plus m minus 1 i equals to cos m minus 1 x sine x plus m minus 1 cos m minus 2 x. So, we now factorize. Once you factorize, you'll be having it to be, okay? You factorize, this up I, I, if you remove one I here, one will remain plus m minus 1. So if you remove one i and one i, this is what you will have equals to you have cos m minus one x sine x plus m minus one integration cos m minus two x. Okay. Now this means one, one plus one plus n minus one minus one gone. I n equals to cos n minus one s sine s plus n minus one integration cos m minus two x. So when you divide everything with n. You will be having your i. What is your i? Your i means integration of cos x power n x dx equals to cos m minus 1 x sine x r over n plus m minus 1 over n integration cos m minus 2 x. So, you attach plus C. Plus C because we don't have upper and lower limit. 
So that is the shortcut we are to use to solve this. So integrate cos to the power of 4x the x. Our m is 4. 5, 4 minus 1 cos 3x sine x all over 4 because n is 4 plus 4 minus 1, 3 over 4 integration cos 4 minus 2 to x. Okay, how do we integrate? So we sort out integrate cos squared x. That will be giving you your n at this point. When we get this, we multiply by 3 over 4, then we'll write our final answer. Cos square x, n is 2, cos 2 minus 1, 1, sine x, all over 2, plus 2 minus 1, 1, then 2 minus 2, 0. So, cos x raised to the power of 0 is 1, integrate 1, it will give you x. It will give you x. So, we have seen what this gives you. Remember I said 2 minus 2, 0. So, it means that cos x raised to the power of 0. Cos x raised to the power of 0 is 1. Integrate 1, it will give you this x. Now, finally, you will say integration of cos raised to the power of 4x dx is equal to cos x power 3x sine x all over 4 plus 3 over 4 bracket. What is integration of this? Cos x sine x all over 2 plus x over 2. Then this times this will be giving us 3 cos x sine x all over 8 plus 3x over 8 plus c. Then plus, then we now say this is uh, cos x power 3x sine x all over 4. That is our final answer. Then what of integrate cos x power 6x dx? We say, to integrate it, we say integrate cos 6x dx. Here, your n will be 6. Your n will be 6. So, what you do now is that you say 6 minus 1 cos 5 cos x power 5x sine x all over n is 6 n is 6 plus 6 minus 1 5 over 6 integration cos we now say 6 minus 2 6 minus 2 is uh, 4x now we have solved this and it gave us this we now say finally Finally, finally, integration cos 6x dx is equal to cos raised to the power 5x sine x all over 6 plus 5 over 6 bracket. What did we get in integration cos raised to the power 4x? We say cos to the power 3x, cos to the power 3x, cos to the power 3x sine x, all over 4, plus 3 cos x sine x, all over 8, plus 3x over 8. Then we multiply out. This will be giving us uh, 5 over 24. 
cos raised to the power 3, x sin x plus this will be giving us uh, 5 over 16 cos x sin x okay plus this times this that will be giving us uh, 5 over 16 x then you attach plus c then cos raised power 5 x Cos raised power of 5 x sine x all over 6. So that is the final answer for integration of cos raised power 6 x. Okay? So we say it's cos raised power 5 x sine x over 6 plus 5 over 24 cos raised power 3 x sine x plus 5 cos x sine x all over 16 plus 5x over 16 plus c. That is the solution to this. So, you use this shortcut to solve any question on this. Just carry the shortcut and put. Then you sort it out.